So cocaine, opioids, and marijuana, in that order, are the top drugs that are showing up on failed tests for truck drivers. But the only test the federal government actually recognizes is catching far fewer users. According to the report by the Trucking Alliance, about 1% of trucking applicants fail urine tests. But 9% either fail or refuse to take a hair follicle test, which can detect drug use for much longer periods of time. But the Department of Transportation only recognizes your analysis, which, based on these results, misses 9 out of 10 drug users, or about 300,000 drivers. They are very easily skirting the system, and they're very easily able to either mask the results or they're simply going off the drug for four or five days, and by that time it's out of their system, and they're passing the drug test, and they're going back to their lifestyle once they get the job. So here's the thing. Lane Kidd says only about 5% of trucking companies even use this hair follicle test. That's because it's more expensive and the federal government doesn't take it into consideration. Now, the government is building a database so all trucking companies can see which people with commercial driver's licenses have failed drug tests at other companies. But as it stands, hair test results will not be included. He could fail the hair test. And so the employer would say, well, I'm sorry, you don't qualify for a job here. He could walk out the door, drive down the street, walk in another trucking company that only requires a urine test and get a job today. And that's what's occurring with thousands of truck drivers every year in this industry. And we have a real subculture in the trucking industry of drug users who need to be taken out of their trucks and off the highways and let them go do something else. But endangering the public should not be one of them. So the wheels are moving slowly at the federal level on this. Years ago, then-President Obama asked the government to come up with comprehensive hair testing guidelines by 2016. To this day, that hasn't happened. So is anyone saying that hair tests should not be used? Yeah, so there is some pushback, especially with the smaller trucking companies. They think that the urine test is sufficient. Now, there's a national group called the Owner Operator Independent Drivers Association I reached out today. Uh, they told me they're concerned hair testing could hold some racial bias. Apparently, a researcher says it's possible drugs are more easily identified in people with darker hair. They also say there's a lack of evidence that doing hair tests would actually result in fewer crashes. I know you said that marijuana is like the third on the list of these drugs showing up, but what about states where marijuana is legal, like Washington? How does that play a role? Yeah, so part of the push to try to get the government to, you know, turn the wheels a little faster for more comprehensive drug testing is the fact that there is more legalization in this country. You know, marijuana might be legal here, but it's not federally recognized. And since this is an industry that's regulated by the federal government, Drivers technically can't have marijuana in their system. So that's the same for pilots. It's the same for ferry operators here in Washington who operate under the Coast Guard. Now, I checked in with Washington State Patrol today. They have seen a 20% increase in all types of drivers under the influence of marijuana just since 2015. So it is a bigger problem across the board here. Anecdotally, they also hold truckers to a really high standard because of the harm they can cause. With vehicles that large, you have uh, much more capacity to do greater harm. I mean, even a, a small vehicle can, can cause a tremendous accident and loss of life and, and destruction of property. But a larger vehicle uh, is just a magnitude of that, that vulnerability and that, that uh, kind of danger. Some lawmakers are concerned that truckers could get punished for legally smoking off the clock in a state like this and, you know, never driving impaired. But that is something that a hair follicle test would pick up. But others say as long as marijuana is illegal at the federal level, if you want to smoke, don't be a truck driver.